Hey y'all. Well, here it is. The first electric bike on the Gadget Inspector channel. This is the DYU D3F. Start getting it out of the box and start checking it out. So as you can see, the bike is pretty much fully assembled. Um, looks like the only thing uh, that needs to be done is to put the pedals on, put the, uh, the rear splash guard on, put the seat on, <laughs> and you can see the handlebars are foldable. So it's just a matter of folding those up and clamping it down. And there it is. Not a whole lot to do. Um, thing was packaged really, really well. I don't see any damage um, on the bike. They did a good job uh, with the packaging. Oh, check this out. Looks like the handlebars are adjustable as well. So you just flip this up and then you can adjust this um, to your preferred seating position or how you want the uh, the brakes to sit. So that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you get a little 15 millimeter wrench. You get the Allen key and you get a little brake light that you can attach to the back here. And here's the little instructions manual. Okay, so installing the rear fender is easy enough. You're just going to uh, remove the uh, hex screw here and stick it on just like that. Okay, now for the pedals. And as you can see, it shows you for the right pedal, we're going to go clockwise. And for the left pedal, counterclockwise. So lefty, lefty, righty, righty. And how about we throw the rear light on here? This just takes a 20, one of those 2032 batteries. So that's how that's powered. Let's just go ahead and strap this thing on here. Okay, so looks like we have three bars on the battery. Um, looks like it, it goes up to four bars. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the charger. It shouldn't take too long. And then uh, we can get it outside. And the charging port is located right here. And here is the power button here on the left hand side. You just push that button once and it will fire the bike on up. And when you do that, you'll see the indicator lights start to light up here on the right side. This button right here not only turns on the front light, but it also will allow you to set cruise control. So if you're going at a certain speed, if you want to stay at that speed, you're going to use this button right here. And you also get an old fashioned bell here. So folks know you're coming. And the charger is 42 volts at 1.5 amps. All right, so when I found out I would be reviewing this mini electric bike, I was like, oh man, oh man, this would be the first electric bike that I review on the channel. But what I'm doing right now, what you see me doing right now, this is one of the best things about this bike right here. You know, I'm not a small guy, but this right here, you fold it down, Okay, like boom, you got a handle here where you can just pick the thing up. <laughs> it's 42 pounds and you just put it in your, put it in your truck, put it in your car. Now this is an SUV, but this thing is small enough to where you could fit it in the trunk of most sedans, most vehicles, you know, or in the back seat. Look how I'm easily moving this thing around. 
So this right here is pro number one, portability, um, size and weight. All right, I don't think we can go on with the video without first acknowledging the size difference. All right, I'm 6'2", 6'2 and a half, somewhere in there, 200 plus, okay, we'll leave it at that. And here you go. It was one of my main concerns um, when I found out I would be reviewing this bike. It's the first electric bike on the channel, as I mentioned before. And I was like, oh man, how come I couldn't get one of the big boy bikes? But let me tell you, this fits me. Um, I'll show you, actually, let me just get on. So again, I'm 6'2", and I have plenty of leg clearance. So you can see this here. I have plenty of leg clearance. And this really surprised me. Now, other than looking like, uh, remember Tommy Boy, where he started dancing around Chris Farley and he's like, fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> it kind of feels like that, but you know what? I've, I've ridden this thing a couple of miles just to test it out. And man, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay, I'm gonna give you some specs. I've got the instructions manual here, um, but this is one of the more affordable electric bikes that you can get. It's a mini, of course, but you can grab one of these for like $459. And you can sometimes find it for even less than that. And I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna be riding this bike. You know, I don't really care what people think. You know, once you start doing YouTube videos and you start setting up cameras and you're walking around and flying drones, you kind of get used to people looking at you funny. So whatever, man. All right, so let me give you some specs here. Um, so like I said before, the bike weighs 42 pounds. The maximum load is 265 pounds. So I'm not a small dude. It accommodates me just fine, just fine. I'm not 265 though, good grief. Maximum speed is 15.5 miles per hour and I can attest to that. It says that you will get 25 miles of range, throttle only. So when you're only using the throttle, you'll get 25 miles. And if you are assisting, so if you're pedaling, you will get 31 miles of range. Now here's something, I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit, but here's something that's really cool about this bike. You can use the throttle and pedal at the same time. So you're getting the pedal assist. So as you pedal, the rear motor will kick in and assist you. So you get that pedal assist, but you can also engage the throttle. It's awesome. So if you're, you know, going up hills and stuff, now it says you can, um, this will um, make it up hills that are 15 degree, 15 degree hills. I haven't tested that yet. We will, we will test that and see what's up with it. Um, IP54 rating, so that means this is water resistant, not waterproof. So it could probably take some light rain. You probably don't wanna go running through big pools of water and getting this thing uh, submerged in water. It has a 36 volt, 10 amp battery right here and that is built in, you cannot remove it. So you will have to charge the battery within the bike but this thing is so small and compact you can just carry it in and out of the house pretty easily um, that shouldn't be a, a problem the rear hub motor is 250 watts and that was another concern that i had whether it would be able to accommodate me now i'm 200 plus 62 you'll likely get more range out of this bike. Maybe even, um, it might even be zippier for you if you are lighter and, and maybe smaller than I am. But I found that this is decent power. Now again, I have not ridden any other electric bike yet, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But when I was just zipping around here in the parking lot, I felt like the assistance from the motor was really good. I mean, you know, I'm not going super fast or anything like that, but I did get up to 15, 16 miles per hour. And I just had a big silly grin on my face the whole time. These are 14 inch mag wheel tires and I have mine inflated to about 30 PSI. Um, looks like 35 to 45 is the range uh, noted on the actual tire. But I feel like 30 PSI is good for me just for a little bit of a softer ride. This is a single gear, so you aren't gonna be uh, shifting gears or anything like that, just one single gear. Uh, the seat, the seat is very comfortable. I was very, very surprised. 
about that. It is adjustable, um, easily adjustable. You just have this clamp right here that you can um, easily unclamp uh, and then um, pull this up and down. There is a mark on the uh, stem post showing you the uh, highest that you can actually raise the seat up. Um, so that's really good. The fenders here, these are plastic, but you know what, I'm keeping the cost down, this should at least keep, you know, dirt and, you know, water off of your back when you're riding. So glad to see that there. It does have a light in the front and to turn that on, you're just going to uh, press and hold this button on the right here for about three to five seconds and then that will power on and you do the same thing to power it off. We will check to see how bright that is um, when it gets darker. It has mechanical disc brakes and I did have a chance to test the brakes out and they work just fine. They stop my big old self. This uh, bike does not require a key uh, to turn it on. It, you just, it's just a simple uh, power button. You just push it one time and you'll see the LED lights show up here on the right. And this is a really clean design. Cable management is really good. The only cables that you can really see are those that are right up front here and those behind the stem. And looks like uh, you do have a good range of motion um, with the uh, front wheel. So it doesn't look like those uh, cables are getting caught at all. So that shouldn't be a problem. All right, I'm losing light, so I probably won't get to the ride test tonight. That's okay, we'll do it another day so we can really take our time and uh, check this thing out. Big guy, little bike. <laughs> okay guys, we're out here for the ride test. <laughs> a beautiful day here in West Michigan. Uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, uh, mid 70s. Really, really nice day to be out here riding. Okay, uh, as you can see here, I do have uh, a GPS speedometer uh, app up here. Uh, the bike does not have an LED or LCD display, I should say. Um, but this works really well. This will allow us to track our speed. And speaking of which, that's gonna be the first thing that we test out because I know people wanna know right away, does it go as fast as it says it can go? All right, so what I like to do to get rolling is to use the throttle. And letting off the throttle and it's all me pumping my dogs now. And let's see if we can get up to speed here. 13, 14, and we should be hitting 15 here. Whoa, I saw 18 there, that might have been a glitch. There's 15. So we're at 16, 15. Okay, now you're gonna hit that only on flat surfaces. All right, this is relatively flat and even on a down climb. Um, this is not the bike to get for steep inclines or hills. You, <laughs> Well, I take that back. You can get up the hills, but you will be pumping those dogs. Now, let's talk about that a little bit more. So, um, if you've never ridden an e-bike, this is my first experience with an e-bike, um, you may think that you won't have to work at all when riding. That's not necessarily the case. Now, granted, you can just use the throttle, just like I'm doing right now. This is only throttle that I'm using right now. However, I am pedaling right now. The motor is kicking in and assisting me, but it's not like propelling me, you know, like I'm superhuman or something. It's almost like a um, torque sensor. I don't, I'm not sure if this one has a torque sensor or a cadence sensor. I would be surprised if it was a torque sensor. But it feels that way. It feels like the more power I give it, the more power it gives me in terms of how hard I pedal. So the point I'm trying to make there is you can still get a pretty good workout. I feel like I'm doing some good cardio when I'm pedaling. And even when I reach the top speed, uh, 15 miles per hour, I feel like the bike still recognizes my pedaling. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't feel like I'm ghost pedaling, even when I get up to 15 miles per hour. Single gear, 
So it seems to be engineered in a way where you get up to that 15 uh, miles per hour and your input from pedaling still makes a difference. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna power the bike off. So the bike is off. There is no power or pedal assist. And I'm just gonna pedal this bike right now, okay? And let's see how difficult it is to pedal this bike. Feels like a regular bike to me right now. So this is all gadget inspector power right now. So this is all dog power. <laughs> Working my dogs. It's not bad. Now, if I had to go up a hill, I think I would be breathing extremely hard right now. But on a flat level surface like this, it's not bad to pedal at all. Um, you can see I'm going about five miles an hour and I'm just casually, casually pedaling. Let's see what happens if I power it on right now. Okay, and I can definitely feel the difference now. Definitely felt that motor kick in. I'm pedaling at the same sort of cadence. And instead of going about five miles per hour, I'm going twice that fast. So 10 miles per hour, 10, 11. Okay, y'all, the thing I wanna draw your attention to now is clearance of my knees. All right, once again, I'm 6'2". Um, and one of the things I was most concerned about um, when I knew I was gonna be reviewing this bike is whether it would be too little, of course. And you can see, just pay attention to my legs here. Um, I have plenty of clearance, plenty of clearance. I don't feel cramped whatsoever when turning, anything like that. Does it look like I don't have enough clearance? It certainly doesn't feel that way, okay? It feels like I have plenty of clearance. Make sure uh, I get you a good shot of this so you can, so you can see. Seeing is believing, right? So there it is. So outside of looking like a huge mungus giant on a little bike, fat guy in a little coat, that kind of thing. Um, the bike is very comfortable for me. <laughs> Guys, so <laughs> I'm riding past here. I must have ridden past here a few times and I'd stopped to take a couple photos and I looked and I said, that's a hill. <laughs> so why don't we? Let's go out here. We're gonna uh, knock out a couple of birds with one stone. I wanna see how this performs on grass and as you can see, just fine. So I wouldn't say this is an off-road bike, um, but for like grass and gravel, um, I'll show you that it can go through gravel, no problem as well. Um, you shouldn't have any problem, but let's, uh, let's check out this hill. Now I'm engaging the throttle and I'm pedaling. And you can see we're going about six miles per hour. I don't know if you can see this. Six to seven miles per hour. I don't think we're gonna make this hill, but we're gonna try it. Let's go. Okay, so we got about there. So that's a pretty steep hill though. That's a pretty steep hill. So we've already talked about speed. We've talked about the brakes. Um, and by the way, the rear brake is on the left front brake or on the right um, how about the seat so the seat is very comfortable I did notice that after riding for about five miles I did start to feel it a little bit um, but overall I would say this is a really comfortable seat for what you're getting for 450 bucks I mean I, I Seriously, I have a mountain bike that has one of those really narrow seats and that thing is not comfortable at all. I, you have to wear some of those uh, padded shorts with that bike. What do I have complaints about? I, 
I don't want it to seem like I'm just raving about this little bike, but I haven't. Let's see, what can I say about this bike? I do wish it had a display. I do wish it had a display. The um, phone mount, this thing is working out really, really well. It's really, really easy to mount your phone and it keeps it secure and in place really, really well. So I'll leave a link down there for you to check that out. Hey, horsies. Oh, cool. See the kinds of things you can see when you're out riding? There we go. Can you see the horsies? Hi, horsies. Now, I will say when I take one of my hands off of the uh, handlebars, it gets a little squirrely uh, because the handlebars are not very long. I don't have any trouble with the uh, turning radius or anything like that. I don't think I'll be able to do any kind of technical riding or anything you know crazy like that. But for what I've been doing, this has been fine. Um, but I would recommend keeping both hands on the uh, handlebars at all times just for the best control. Okay, so far we have gone 4.66 miles and we still have three bars on the power indicator. And I'm actually going to stop because one thing I noticed, I've been noticing is when you stop, that uh, battery level indicator will fluctuate. Doesn't look like it's fluctuating now. So sounds like, uh, or looks like we are actually at three, three bars there or three lights, I should say, three out of four. Hi. That gentleman was riding an electric bike. So yeah, just cruising around this park. This is a really, really large park, nice park um, that I actually stumbled upon one day. Um, I was looking for somewhere to film uh, a review and look at this place, it's huge. There's uh, at least two, I think, I think there may be three uh, baseball diamonds or softball diamonds out here. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Out here cruising, getting some exercise, getting some vitamin D, <sighs> getting, you know, getting some fresh air, man. <sighs> it's just wonderful. All right, let's head to the other, uh, other location, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay guys, so something that uh, I, I, I'm probably repeating myself, but um, I think the best thing about this uh, mini e-bike is its portability. So we were just over at the other park. I wanted to try out this different terrain. So we're on this gravel. It's fairly flat and level, but it's still a little bit different um, terrain. I can, I can feel the difference. Uh, the tires, these 14 inch tires, you know they're handling it just fine um, but I threw threw the bike in the truck rolled down here and here we are pulled it out um, you know it's not super heavy it's easy to, to, to fit in the back there I, I, I really think it's the best thing about this little bike man um, so we're just out here there's a, a nice lake here or pond I'm not sure if it's big enough to be a lake but um, a nice little body of water people are out here fishing I've brought the kids uh, out here to fish myself and uh, I really like this uh, this path here because it's you know it got a lot of tree cover so <laughs> so the Sun's not beating down on you but the beauty of riding is uh, you know you do get a nice little breeze as you ride I'm starting to hear some squeaking coming from the back I'm not sure what that is so I've been riding this. I've probably put a good 15 miles, uh, I would say, on this bike since I got it from, you know, just testing it out and all of that. Um, we're at about eight miles today that we've ridden today. 
and uh, I don't know if you can hear that squeaking, but I'm definitely hearing some squeaking coming from the rear. But uh, just an absolutely beautiful place to come out and ride or go for a walk. But really peaceful, really nice. And like I said, it's handling this gravel just fine. But the, the word of the day, kids, is portability. Portability. If you're a big guy like me and you're concerned about looking silly, man, just come places like this. Now, I did just pass a family, I, you know, but come to places like this where, you know, there's really not a whole lot of people and um, you can still get out here and enjoy a nice bike ride. All throttle now, just trying to run the battery down some. Okay, we're down to one LED light now. So we're starting to get down to the uh, the last of the battery. And we're on about nine miles now, which is uh, a good way short of 25 miles or 31 miles. The bike is gonna need a lot more power to haul my big old self than it would a smaller rider. So keep that in mind. Okay, the objective now is simply to run down the battery. All right, so we're at about 10 miles. Um, total distance written on today. We still have two bars, and I think those are pretty solid bars, or not bars, but lights, two little green dots there. And we're just gonna ride until we drain the battery and yes we are yet at another park so what's the name or what's the word of the day boys and girls portability that's right portability okay where are we going here okay oh we can go across the street can we all right let's uh well Technically, this is not a motor vehicle, is it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a pretty big sign. So yeah, okay, we are down to one LED light now. Okay, oh, we're back to two. So when I let off the throttle, see, I'm on the throttle now. And when I was laying on that throttle, it went down to one light and went back up. So we're back to two. 4.6 miles now, so this is the second leg of our riding adventure on today. We did about 6.25 6 miles earlier. So we are pushing 11 miles, pushing 11 miles. If you do a lot of talking, you may swallow a bug. Um, <laughs> I didn't, but I believe I was very close to doing so. Okay, so as you can see here, I ran the battery all the way down. This last LED light was blinking and I wasn't getting much of anything from the motor, so I called it a day. We were able to get 14 and a half miles out of the battery, so not even close to the proposed 25 miles. That included both me pumping my dogs at times and using the throttle at times. I really think a lighter rider would get more range. Otherwise, let me tell you right now, you're gonna see more electric bike content on the channel. I am hooked. The same thing happened to me when I got into drones. I feel like riding e-bikes and flying drones pairs really well. They're two very complimentary hobbies. I like this little e-bike y'all for what it is. I like how easy it is to throw it in the truck and get riding. I love how portable it is and that it has enough power to haul me around. If you're looking for something to take off road or to do a lot of hill climbing, then this ain't the one. But if you want something budget friendly that can be easily transported easily stored and has enough power to commute in and around town through the neighborhood and parks this can do it all right y'all thanks for hanging out with me and if you like this give me a like and come back for more 
Check out one of these other videos in the meantime. Later. <laughs>